Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad. I think this is video number 14 now. Just wanted to answer the question, how did I get to Africa? Well, how did you end up going there? Well, the short story is I got lost. Uh, I had no intention of going to Africa. When Ken and I left Canada in 1962, we're going to Europe for a, uh, I don't know, for some time, period of time. And the picture I'm showing is the Norwegian freighter that we caught by bribing the captain to give us jobs on the boat. I worked in the engine room and Ken, who owns this boat, um, ended up on the working on the deck and it was a very stormy crossing it took us longer than normal because the captain was trying to avoid the storm the storm kept chasing us or we went into the storm whatever and the waves were going over the deck so this was a picture of some of the logs that were strapped on the deck and some of the waves uh, i also have a few more pictures i'll try and share with you this is the Hartfield. Uh, coming, I think, into Le Havre, France, where we were docking. And there's a picture, I believe that's Ken, on the deck as we were entering Le Havre. We then ended up taking to Paris. I got pictures of Paris, and I don't think Ken's seen these because these were some negatives I found last year when I was going through, and I managed to put them on the computer. See the car? Uh, the, I guess that's the Arc de Triomphe. And look at the Citroën, the Du Chevaux uh, here. And you'll notice the cars. I'll show you a few more pictures that I found from 1962. This is uh, the Eiffel Tower in the background. I guess I was going to be a bit artistic at that time. And whoops. Oh, and another picture of the Eiffel Tower. And again, you can miss the cars are of the ilk of the late 1950s, early 1960s. And I've got a picture of Ken in Spain. Now, this is, uh, I guess we were waiting on the side of the road hoping to catch some rides. Uh, as we were hitchhiking in Spain after we left all Switzerland back into France and down to Spain. It was a cold winter, 1962. So those are some pictures that I have of uh, Europe. I ended up uh, splitting up with Ken. He wanted to go back to Canada before I did. I wanted to go around the Mediterranean. I ended up in Cairo, where I found a metafella on the youth hostel boat on the Nile River. And he said to me, I'm going to East Africa. Why don't you come with me? And I changed my life. I said, yes. Ended up spending 22 years in South Africa, working on the gold mines and so on. So that's um, something I want to share. Now, why am I wearing this hat? Well, it's a hat my youngest daughter bought me from uh, a visit to Cirque du Soleil when uh, she took me to see Cirque du Soleil. I'm a big fan of Cirque du Soleil. I've been to many of their shows, including some in Las Vegas. So um, what's going on? Well, still on the boat, obviously. We haven't, we're still being physically isolated, although that's about to change, I believe. Our lady who's in charge of our public health by the name of Bonnie Henry. She's a wonderful lady. Um, she has a fantastic background in, I'll uh, just talk, I'll try and change a picture here, see if I can find it. Oh, pictures disappeared again. Oh no, there it is. Uh, just a picture of the dock that uh, we saw. I saw the other day, it was, uh, the sun was coming up, so a little bit of reflection on, oops, disappeared again. Oh, there it is. Uh, and the word, I was doing word of the day for a Toastmasters meeting, and I thought reflection, and this is a bit of reflection on, I'm so glad I'm in Canada, particularly British Columbia. Bonnie Henry, who is the public health officer, has an amazing background. Um, she was in, I think it was Bangladesh, well, with or Pakistan when polio was eradicated. She's been in Uganda when the 
Ebola was uh, rampant. I've been a public health officer in Canada for many years, and in 2018 was nominated as the public health officer for British Columbia here in Canada. And she's been known uh, and quoted, I think it was the one of the major newspapers said, she's a calming voice in a sea of coronavirus madness. And it is wonderful to have her leading our public health efforts in British Columbia. So that's some reflections. As far as the hats are concerned, I could explain, but I try and wear different hats. I don't have running out of hats. I didn't bring a lot of the hats to the So I'll have to duplicate some of them from the time to time. But I discovered this hat because it folds up to the bag of hats at the bottom. So I'm going to wear the hat. Like. What else is going on? Well, i still rowing and I'm very grateful that I have the ability to share these stories with you and explain my family and friends. Hey, I'm still doing okay. So that's for now from Nova Nomad. I'll say au revoir, wishing you, your family, and friends lots of love and laughter in these changing times. Bye for now.